Hey trail riders, welcome back to the baby ride. I hope you guys are doing well. The crosshair passage for today comes from Romans 3, 21 and 22, and then 23, and then 26. But now the righteousness of God apart from the law is revealed through faith in Jesus Christ to all and on all who believe, being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus that he might be just and the justifier of the one who has faith in Jesus. The daily fire thought for today is I know whom I have believed and I am persuaded that he is able to keep what I have committed to him until that day. Right in the word passages for today is Romans 3, 21 through 26 and 2 Timothy 1, 12. Scriptures that get us through the Bible in a year is 2 Kings 19, Hebrews 1, Hosea 12, Psalm 135, and 136. Today we're going to be talking about faith and knowing. Faith means to place confidence into something. That does not mean that anything at all will do. However, we trust Whatever we trust must be trustworthy. Christian faith is faith in Christ. This is not irrational. Blind faith is careless and irresponsible. Like putting your money in the hands of somebody you know nothing about. A Christian brother felt sorry for people who had been in jail. So he employed men who had been in prison in order to give them a new start. He showed his confidence in one man by making him his general manager. Secretly, the man robbed him, and his thefts almost ruined the business. Later, he learned that the reason for this trusted employee's previous sentence was embezzlement, blind faith. All over the world, people are putting faith in an endless variety of religions and religious systems. God's theories, cults, and self-proclaimed messiahs. Only a fool would trust an unknown deity. But fools do not or but fools do when techniques and strong emotions pressure, emotional pressures are applied. They, ha they have in recent times committed mass suicide in their deluded hopes the vast majority of faiths or religions old as well as new promise nothing this side of eternity but the pie is in the sky when you die the late Ayatollah Khomeini sent young teenagers into mind, mind battlefields with the promise that if they died killing infidels that they would go straight to paradise. How can killing people make somebody fit for heaven? Who would believe this? The Spanish, but the Spanish emperor at the time of the Inquisition was stricken with anxiety about his own salvation because he thought he had not burned enough Jews or others who were of other faiths. Few faiths are like the common experience of Christian believers. In fact, real experience of God is no real experience of God at all. There is no miracle, no forgiveness, no victory over sin, no strength in adversity, no peace with God, no joy. Some of them promote resignation to fate as a great virtue. But Christian believers overcome fate. They do not bow to the inevitable. Know what your faith is in Christ means to you. God bless you guys. I hope you'll continually follow me here on the daily ride.
and I'll see you on the next trail ride.